This is SAT test 2, non-calculator question number 13. The College Board gives us a quadratic equation and asks for the sum of the solutions. I notice that all these coefficients are even, so I'm going to factor out a 2 and get twice m squared minus 8m plus 4 equals 0. Since 2 is not 0, this quadratic has to be 0 for a solution. m squared minus 8m plus 4 equals 0. And that leaves me smaller numbers than the original, so the arithmetic will be easier. I don't see how to factor this, so I'm going to use the quadratic equation. m equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 8, and c is equal to 4. I like to write my quadratic equation and write the values of a, b, and c, because that helps me avoid substituting the wrong number into any position, and especially it helps me avoid dropping negatives because we're all good at dropping negatives, and this has helped me to reduce the number of errors I make about a type. So my m values are negative b, which is minus negative 8 is positive 8, plus or minus square root. b squared is negative 8 squared is positive 64. If I wrote negative 8 squared, I might inadvertently call that negative 64, which would be the wrong answer. So I prefer to square my negative and write it as the final square. Minus 4ac is minus 4 times 4 is minus 16 times 1 is still minus 16 all over 2. So my solutions are m equals 8 over 2 is 4 plus the square root of 48 over 2. And then the other solution is 4 minus the same square root of 48 over 2. If I add these two solutions, 4 plus 4 is 8, root 48 over 2 minus root 48 over 2 is 0. So the sum of the solutions is 8. That would be choice D. College Board will consistently ask you to solve a quadratic, and this will often require the quadratic formula. So it's worth reviewing this formula before your SAT, as well as helping in your future math classes. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.